Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines and of course to Avakin. Where, in the last episode, we really fleshed out our inner city district here in Skaven Heights and the very well-named Park Park. Uh, right, in this episode, we will start off by just checking over the state of... Ooh, that was very good uh, that we did check it over. We are using a lot of power these days. Uh, what options do we have available? We could go for the solar power plant. Cost an awful lot of money for a yeah, reasonable output of power. But honestly, this... Well, I actually kind of like these. How big is this? Uh, similar size, actually. It's not a gigantic thing to have installed. Um... I think we're going to go for with another solar updraft tower, but we're going to relocate this one. This one's going to be a bit further away, I'm thinking. Uh, we could have it somewhere along here. Uh, yeah, let's let's have... Well, actually, that might be a little bit better for, for some other things. You know what? I wouldn't mind having something up here on the mountain. I think that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, right. Well, given that then, let's uh, have this head on up. There we go. Now, will we be able to get up there? No, we won't. So, what we can do is we can enter the mountain at uh, this sort of angle, about there, and then have it rise up over time. It should be a bit of a more gentle climb that way. There we go. And out we come, right at the top here. Now, we'll just have a little curve around. Something like this. About there. And then straighten it up again. Uh, about that long, I would say, is needed. Now, we are going to need to terraform this area because I don't think we're just going to be able to build this simply because the slope is too steep, which is fine. Okay, there we go. Getting a bit of progress now with the uh, flattened terrain tool. That should be good enough. And let's actually have this road curve up a little bit more gently up there. There we are. And we'll have just a gentle curve up onto here. And by gentle, probably not that gentle, realistically speaking. And up to about there. There we go. This should now be suitable for a solar updraft tower that we will be able to pump right about there. Marvellous. I actually quite like that being uh, up on high, looking down over the city. And we'll just connect it up with a pile on there. There we go. That should uh, sort out quite a lot of issues for us. Of course, we do need to hook it up to water, naturally. Let's yeah, just get that all the way up there. And we should be good. Right. Hopefully, that goes away. There we go. Now, what else is going on? So, water availability actually is a bit of an issue. Alrighty, well, let's uh, get a new uh, pump just down about there. Hook you up as well. There we go. We are bringing in a decent amount of money, so I'm not too concerned about this for the time being. Uh, we're going to go with another water treatment plant right down the bottom of the street there. There we are. And hook this up as well. There we go. That should be fine. Honestly, I don't actually think this is helping us at all. We're going to leave it there, though, for the time being. Simply because uh, I I like the idea of it, gathering things. But this is sewage, not not rubbish. So I don't think it's really going to help. We'll, we'll experiment a little bit more with that in the future. Now then, down here, though, we want a new branching road. Just uh, cutting off a little bit to about there. And then maybe sweeping down. Because we do want... So we have some additional services down here. We're going to need them, frankly. Uh, about there we'll do, I think. We will need to run power out here, but this should be good for now. Let's get you in position right there. And, of course, hooked up with some power. We can just run a uh, couple of pylons straight over there, directly to the solar updrift towers that we've got there. And that is sorted. Okay, next thing then. So we've got water, we've got electricity, we've got garbage. <laughs> more or less. Education is atrocious, and this needs to be improved quite, quite badly. Uh, university is fine, uh, because we don't have that many people leaving high school, or elementary school, as, as the case may be. Shh, it's okay. Uh, 
Uh, generally speaking, our people are fairly happy with what we've done. Ha why? I don't know, but uh, they are, so we'll, I guess we'll uh, keep rolling with that. Uh, in terms of levels, not too many of our Iron Residentials have reached level 5, but quite a lot have reached level 4, which I'm actually surprised with because it's, uh, by and large, land value and education which caused those to upgrade. That's quite interesting, actually. Now, this over here, terrible, but... There's a couple of things we can do to try and try and alleviate that. Down here, oh, so many trucks just trying to get around. Wow. That is a little bit bonkers. Where are they all off to? Let's actually have a look at this. Where are you guys going? Let's, let's have a quick peek. They are actually spreading around all over the place. They're just dropping things off and then heading straight back, I guess. Maybe we're going to need to upgrade some of these roads, honestly. That might be a wise move. Just running straight down there into uh, the town down here might be a, a good good thing to do. We'll, we'll have to see. Wow, are you actually delivering to this, or is that commercial? There is commercial. I was thinking, oh, you're delivering supplies to the Fallout Shelter. I like it. That's actually pretty cool. But no. Right then, so... That was a massive traffic jam, so let's try and address this, shall we? Now, how am I going to go about doing this one? Um, I think I'd rather approach it more head-on over here. What we could do there, then, I suppose, is just change the angle of this particular road. There we go. Uh, also, we don't strictly need this one to be a uh, tree lined road, honestly. We're going to come up and then try and interact about here. So let's pop down where the road is going to start. I'm going to say we're going to have the road connect about there. Let's bring you down. And you can come up to around here. Then start curving across like that. There we go. Oh my lord, what just happened there? Something big just happened. Was there lightning strike, perhaps? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure on that one. Hopefully our uh, fire watchtowers are doing okay. In fact, we can actually move these. It was pointed out that they, they don't need to be anywhere near the uh, the road to, to function properly. So, realistically, we probably should move those around a little bit more. Where's the other one? Is there another one? Oh, there's one over there. I'm going to pop another fi um, Firewatch Tower out, out there. I guess we'll get one over there as well. That should help out keeping this place nice and safe. We'll have one there too. There we are. That, that's pretty much everywhere we need to know where the fires are. There we are. That's fine. I guess it's just the uh, the heavy, uh, heavy storms making all that noise. Right. So, back to this. Let's slow down time. We're not going to stop time. Not uh, quite yet, anyway. Right, I want a single lane highway. No, not two lane highway. Uh, one way highway with sound barriers. Two lane highway. Oh, two lane. Two way. Hmm. I guess this is fine. It, it's a two lane, but it's a one way, I would, I would imagine. Right, so... What we're going to be going for here, then, is... Let's try and connect it about here. And we'll draw this straight up. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be running from this point, but this is the uh, point I would like to connect from. So, right there. There we are. We'll be pulling this back. Something like that. We're not actually going to be using those in that way, though. And first, connecting up there, and connecting down there. There we go. So, there we are. That's our, that's our connection to the highway. I'll just rotate sort of that around. Uh, there we go. So, we want a means for traffic to join there, and a means for traffic to join up there. That is easily enough done. We can do that either with the off and on ramps, and I, and I think, honestly, that would be fair. So, let's try and get something just reaching out from here. 
Um, sure, about 45 degrees would seem fine for now. Then curve up. I really would like the curve in a different angle, though. So let's try and get that. Oh, well, it's a little bit too too aggressive, it seems. Can we connect up like this? It really does, does annoy me the way we can't quite get the roads to uh, line up. I would love the road to curve in that direction. Again, the Move It mod allows for that. And I'm, I'm getting very, very close to the point where I'm just going to say, yep, time for mods. But no, I can try and do this without them. I'm complaining bitterly the whole while, but uh, no. We, well, we could just see how this looks if I just make a regular connection, I guess. Let's turn off all the links. Something like that, I suppose. That isn't terrible, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's a bit of a steep angle, but we can make that happen, I think. Sure. Okay, let's uh, turn all these back on. We'll just find the 45 degree angle if we can. Oh, 46, really? 44 it is then, I suppose. Uh, right, can we get a similar angle around here? Oh, you can get a 45, apparently. Okay, well, from there down would be my 45. There we go. So, right now, that is a very basic connection. Okay, there we go. I've made a slight adjustment. I felt that the, the angle there was just, just uh, wrong, and the, the roads were a little bit too wide apart. And, oh my lord, it is so finicky to try and get these things to work the way you want. But, when you can, it looks gorgeous. So, it's always worth the effort, in my opinion. Alright, let's bring this up. And as soon as this is viable, which is right there, let's get that out. And this one straight down in much the same way. Okay, so, what we're going to do now is we are going to get this to curve a little bit. So... Traffic coming this way can enter the city, it can also leave the city if we want it to um, exit the city and end up on this road, then we simply need to give it a bit of a reason uh, and a method of doing so. So, at this point, we honestly could have made most of this into off-ramps. It wouldn't have made much of a difference, and maybe I should, honestly. Hmm... Yeah, let's actually do that, because I feel that off-ramps make a lot more sense. Let me uh, just do this down here. There we go. Having the uh, the two-lane road here makes a little bit more sense, because they can merge, and then they merge onto a two-lane street anyway, so it, it all seems to make sense. But the first one that we're going to work with is the traffic that wants to enter the city moving down this route. So, what we're going to do here is it's going to be fairly simple, really. Um, I say. Actually, we might want to use a more static curve this time. But we want it to be a nice large curve. Um, are we going to be able to get this to do strictly what I want it to do? I am not at all sure. Uh, I think we'll be able to. It won't look quite as gorgeous of a curve though and that does sadden me a little bit can we make a connection up there we can all right well given that then let's uh just go ahead and remove that little bit there and try and make them a more agreeable curve so something like this there we are and then we simply need to rotate the lanes there we go so, this is how they enter it. It would be gorgeous if that was a much more, um, a, a much softer curve, came up there at a, at a shallower angle and then went into the spiral. But, as you've seen, it can be a tad bit tricky. Right, let's uh, try and have you generally follow this curve around, I would say. So, like there, and then... Um, Sure, come along down there, and then we'll just straighten out until such a time as it appears clear that we can connect. So, something like now. It's, it's, it just doesn't want to work with me today. Oh, well. We'll just have to go with what it wants. So, that's, that's, that's really not acceptable, though. That part, not acceptable at all. Uh, let's bring this down to here, and then curve it if we must. 
not good because that that's that's a really sharp angle there but uh, at the very least we have a connection now to the the highway from this part of the city just because it's a t-junction you've got different different uh, requirements when when building and as, as far as things go I'm not really unhappy with this I think it could have been made to be a lot nicer if I just uh, had a little bit more control over the angling of the the roads and again you can do this with mods but uh, as I've got a lot of viewers who are working with console I am quite aware that uh, you won't have those kinds of tools available so I'm trying to give uh, to showcase really what the experience will be like for those who are perhaps interested in getting on the console I want to know what they can really do uh, again though I will preface that with you can't really terraform and I have been doing that here and there in fact the uh, solar uptrack tower wouldn't have been able to have been built where I put it had I not had those terraforming tools but uh, that is part of the base game so I'm, I'm not going to uh, avoid that you'll just have to understand there are going to be a couple of changes between the PC and the console I'm sure you're, you're fairly used to that at this point though if you're a if you're a typical console gamer and you, you enjoy playing games that were by and large developed for PC uh, as is the case here I don't think it was um, developed with console in mind initially though they may have uh, launched on console there we go just just a bit of a tree lined we're just moving along there and just spread them out a little bit as they uh, get further towards the uh, off ramp. We could spend a lot more time making that much nicer, putting in other, other sorts of trees, bushes, that sort of thing. But that will do for now. So there we are. We've got a, got a route over there. Let's uh, actually make sure they're making use of this new access point into and out of the city. In fact, let's uh, click there and we'll ha just have a quick look. Okay, so we've got private vehicles. Uh, going out from Radiant Garden, we have quite a lot of private vehicles in Fairview Heights and a decent amount of uh, of traffic using this route. We've actually got, really, garbage collection. Are they going down there and then entering back into the city somewhere else? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm, curious. But we have got some some freight coming coming our way from out there, and that's, uh, that's fine for now. Now, in terms of Radiant Garden, I would actually like to extend this road out, honestly. Um, just go straight through. But, eh, this is the way the, the, the city has grown. It's organic, and I like that about it. Okay, so all of that looks all right. Uh, this should help out a fair bit with some of the congestion. But for now, let's uh, get rid of you. One of the things I'd like to do is expand Radiant Gardens. I feel the Radiant Garden has... Well, it grew in the dimensions of the land we had, but that has since expanded out quite quite a lot. So why don't we go ahead and just build things out a little bit. In fact, we're going to switch to tree-lined streets around here, I think. Let's uh, bring this down and then just start taking it down in this direction. We'll probably use quite a few um, trees in here as well. Have we got a connection down here? Otherwise, is this the sole connection across the city? Wow, that is that is just a disaster waiting to happen. Quite literally, a disaster could completely cut our city off from power. So let's uh, make sure that's not likely to happen by connecting it up over there as well. There we go. Because I am going to uh, disconnect this uh, for now. So let's just get rid of those. I'm not going to delete all of them because I will be reconnecting. But let's just define the outside perimeter down here we want that to connect up right about there and then sure just straight up from here and that'll be our connection there we are i think that that'll be quite nice we could even have some services breaking off in that direction down there uh i'm not keen on having no parking areas in a residential area at least with with such low density residential i don't think it's necessarily going to help us and it would certainly make the uh the people's lives who live in this particular part of town a little bit more complicated as they try to find parking uh that being said radiant gardens is one of the places that would probably suffer the least from it simply because it doesn't make use of vehicles as much so there is that 
Uh, that will cut it off a little bit too aggressively, honestly. We're losing too many uh, potential houses there. Uh, we'll bring this down then, I suppose. Let's uh, bring this down there. And sure, we'll have a, a little block inside there, but by and large, it's not really something I'm looking to encourage here in Radiant Gardens. I prefer things to look a little bit more organic. Uh, nope, let's bring it down. Oh, there we go. Nah, it's going to be a little bit finicky, aren't you? All right. Well, let's get down there. Draw this in about here, I think. That'll do. And then get a nice and clear thing. Oh, I love that little that little uh, method. Took me ages to, to learn of it as well. Though we do need to bring you back a tad. Unfortunately, I haven't quite planned that out as well as I could have. There we go. But this just makes growing your city so much more convenient. So much easier to make it look good. There we go. Down here we'll almost certainly have paths and that sort of thing connecting stuff up. Um, across here we could have something. Yeah, just a little something though. We'll just bring that down there. And I would like a cycle route connecting these up. Let's pop this. Right, no. No, you don't want to go there. Scallywags. Road guidelines off, please. There we go. That's what we want. A little a little connection there. And in fact, we're going to continue that all the way down if we want. We could. Ooh, I like it. I most certainly do. Let's uh, get this connecting up across the street here. Yes, about there. And from here, we are going to rise up over the highway. There we go. Now, we're going to need to be careful in bringing this over, because we want to be very... Oh, they didn't actually drop down a pile, uh, a pillar there. Quite often they will, and that's where, that's what will scupper your plans. Is that one pillar that they'll insist on connecting there. But there we go. Our cyclists can now just go straight across from Radiant Gardens and into Marigold Meadow. I like that. that that'll actually be pretty cool. Now, our cyclists would use the uh, pedestrian walkways, but I actually like um, encouraging cycling specifically, so we're going to leave that as is. Now then, how are we going to build this out? Well, it's just going to be an extension, for the most part, of Radiant Garden, so it'll have all of the same policies by and large, but we're not going to need to extend hmm, our water coverage quite as far as that, honestly. We don't even need to do that, if I'm being perfectly honest, simply because we don't need these buildings on the outside. I'm not going to be having anything going up there. But I would like you to at least come all the way across there. There we are. Okay, so how are we going to expand this out? What kind of buildings do we need? We've got a, a bit of a need for commercial. I'm fine with that. Let's pop down a couple of uh, light commercial just around here maybe. Uh, that should do quite well. In fact, let's put that one in there. And then we're just going to start filling this out with some uh, with some residential. I'm not going to have... Well, yeah, we'll pop some residential there as well. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. In here, I'm thinking we might want some more services. Let's have a look at what you need the most. Garbage collection, not high on my list of things there, honestly. But education. Now, we already have a an elementary school here. Perhaps we could look to popping down something else. For example, an Institute of Creative Arts. That would really make Radiant Gardens a, a fairly decent place for for um, families. But where would we want it to go, specifically? We could have it over here. It wouldn't necessarily be a bad, bad move. And they've got ease of access then as well. In fact, we might want to even make it a little bit easier for pedestrian traffic to get over there. If, yeah, I really like that idea. Now that I'm thinking about it. We're going to pop that down. There we go. A new high school. There we are. And we'll continue to pop down a couple more uh, residential areas in here. And build those around there. That should be fine. I think we need a, a, another commercial right next to the school, though. One little tuck shop. 
just for uh, the children on their their lunch. They can go out and they can uh, they can buy some things. And since it's all going to be organic and locally sourced, it'll probably be good things. Uh, we'll pop a little one there as well. We'll we'll have a few houses around there though. Nothing nothing too grand, but that should be uh, okay then. We'll we'll reserve a couple of other areas then for um, for parks or, or or something similar. Now I would like to take a path across here. Mm, we could possibly connect the path up there. I'm not sure on that one. Let's turn off uh, road guidelines uh, so that I can build this out and then we can curve this one over there. There we are. That'll make things a little bit easier. And additionally, I would like these to just go straight up. And once again, one, two, three. There we go. Just cross there. Nah, now nah. this is going to be the tricky part. Oh no, you will, you will work there. Okay, fair enough. Take it back. Thank you very much for your cooperation. And uh, we can just connect up there. There we go. Got a couple of ways across the highway now, so people can walk. Some people will will cycle, and there's a decent connection. Now I may need to adjust Radiant Gardens bus lane because of that. Um, not ne strictly necessary though. That's actually not too bad, because it does stop right outside the school. Hmm. Hadn't intended for that to happen. Now, quite a lot of people said, oh, you've got you've got your bus stops way too close together. I think that's a very, um, it's a British thing, honestly. And as, as, as much as I'm not trying to start it specifically after Britain, I'm, I'm building a city as I have seen them built. Um, from the comments, I understand at least very much in America, uh, the bus stops are very very far apart typically but i don't from what i understand think that uh, america has quite the same sort of history with public transport that britain does um whether you want to call it an over-reliance on public transport that might, might be true uh, but we tend to have bus stops incredibly frequently and um, so frequently sometimes that you could on a good day, and if it's if if, if it, a bus is going down still get downhill, throw a stone and hit the next bus stop. And I mean that quite literally. In uh, in the town I grew up in, if you were at the at the at the top of the town, one of the stops at the top, there was a bus route just went down the road and stopped just outside the epitaph and the castle. And you could literally throw a stone from that top bus stop and hit the other one. Unfortunately, it wasn't a covered bus stop, so you shouldn't really do it because you'd be hitting someone and not the bus stop, unless you were incredibly accurate and you could just hit that tiny little sign, in which case, your skills are wasted on throwing stones at bus stops. You need to do something more constructive with that kind of awesomeness. Uh, you may also notice that I have moved around a couple of the bus lanes down there just to make them a little bit more, uh, a little bit more effective. That being said, I am really tempted to get a, another internal bus lane in, Sca uh, in Skaven Heighton Park Park simply to connect the bus route with the train. I think we should do that, sure. Okay, let's, uh, let's set something up around here. We'll go from here for this one. It shouldn't be too busy of a route, I'm thinking, but I do want to kind of hit a couple of the locations that we have missed on the outside and definitely stop off at the the um, concert hall then we can swing around okay so first place i'm going to stop will be along here right there and we're going to stop at the train station stop there we're going to come on in around here we'll say hello to the concert hall and the university down there and at this point I think we're just going to cut across and back up around and into our station there we go we're going to need to rename this one a bus line um this should be Skaven Heights Center so it is like the the city center in a way uh, circular one there we are and that one can remain um, blue. I mean, most of these ones are going to blue. Actually, since this one's more connecting passenger transport and a couple of the more important sites, I think I might give it a, a really light blue color. No, I, wait, that's offices. Okay, we'll go with the more of a... Purple is for our express route. I, I guess we could go more, more of a turquoise color, maybe? Something like that. I think it'll do. And then we want a second route as well, which is literally just doing the same stops 
in the opposite direction. You've seen me do this before. I'm... I, I don't even know why, why I brought you along to see me do it again. Nevertheless, I hope you're, you're getting something of worth out of this. But there we are. Uh, we'll just connect up those couple of places and then reconnect down here. There we go. And this will be Skaven Heights Central, Circular 2. There we are. And we'll go for the same sort of uh, turquoisey color somewhere around there. There we go. Right, so that's connecting up our passenger station to the main train stop, which is connecting everything else in the city, more or less. Uh, we do have a couple of abandoned buildings. Now, one thing to be aware of, because um, a lot of people say, please de demolish the abandoned buildings. I've actually got a building that's doing that for me. It's going out, it's demolishing the abandoned buildings, or at least the burnt down buildings, and uh, they get replaced. I'm not going to go out of my way to take care of that. I like letting the, the city flow and the city to do its own things. Also, someone who said, um, was concerned that I was just juggling the population of my graveyards around. Well, that would be true if all I had was graveyards. Unfortunately, I also have crematoriums, and so some of the bodies that were in graveyards get sent there instead, and then don't take up any room in the graveyards. It's not a good thing to do. I feel a bit like a scallywag for doing it. Um, in fact, this one's actually pretty full as well. It's uh, start emptying that one out. Wow. How are we doing with death care? Oh, crematorium availability is super low now. That is not good. We have expanded out so so much, though, so it does make sense in a way. Okay, let's get a new crematorium down. And we're going to have this one, I'm going to say about there. Right there. Bump. We're going to need another, actually. And I think it's going to have to be, again, in Fairview Heights. Uh, simply because Fairview is such a, a large residential area now. That should help out uh, a bit. I think we will pop down another graveyard somewhere. I'm actually gonna pop it, pop it over here, uh, just because I, I think, I think. <laughs> okay, this, this is just a me thing, but I find graveyards incredibly, incredibly soothing places to be. If you just want to go and read, as long as you're respectful, you know, sitting on people's graves. That, that's just scallywaggery of the highest order there. But just a graveyard is an incredibly soul-soothing place, and uh, I would often go wandering around the graveyard when I was taking my exams, just because it helped me center my mind a bit. Um, and that might just be a completely me thing, and if it is, uh, I actually don't don't care. There we go. It's now going to be an Avakis thing. Damn it. Uh, we'll also have these expand out a little bit around here. We do want a little bit more. There we are. Now that is going to take a long time to fill. A long, long time. Uh, how are we doing, Chester Park? Actually, yeah, Chester Park, I want you to expand all the way down here. And in fact, someone put an amazing name in the comments. It was so good that I, I just kept a mental note. I, I, it wasn't even going to be in any kind of raffle. I was just going to wait until somewhere made sense. And, hmm, where are we going to go? Chester Park isn't a bad place. But this one seems to make a little bit more sense. I'm thinking... Park Park shall from henceforth be known as Tally Towers. It, it was just too good. It was too good for me to pass up. Uh, so good, in fact. Um, I would like you to have, um, yeah, recreational. Also, I'm going to make our tourist area free public transport there. There anything else I particularly want to go for? Uh, no, I think we're generally all right with that. Yeah, we're gonna leave that down as is. Beyond that, though, I would like lightning rods popped up around here as well, just because it's it's uh, a bit of a bit of a tall area, and we we need to make use of those tall towers to. Uh, gather up all of the lightning. It doesn't doesn't actually power anything. We can't we can't power our grid off it, alas. But it will will do good. All right, how are we doing for high school? We're still really really low on high school, but we're starting to see highly educated overtaking, which is nice to see. How are things going down here? Not too bad either. All right, I'm I'm actually reasonably happy. We are getting into an area of woes for our industry though again. Mm. It isn't a huge, huge concern. 
I'll be honest. One thing I would like to do around here, though, these things have a crazy high um, noise pollution, so that's fine. If we kind of uh, branch off around here, maybe, and don't get too close. I'm not sure if, if officers really care that much, though. I'll be honest with you. They might not care too, too much for that. Uh, let's get a couple of offices built off. Since these are industrial, I'm really not sure how much they mind noise pollution. We'll soon see. However, I don't strictly want them to uh, only have that kind of access. Let's uh, bring this back around there and connect up, hopefully in a straight line. No, not even close to a straight line. Let's uh, adjust this then. About there. And then curve that down. There we are. And each of these, I think, will have a similar connection. Actually, uh, this kind of th this idea that's formulating in my mind is kind of nice. I like it. Let's get these up there and across. And then we can connect just this one up in this direction. There we are. Now I can't quite make that that turn there, which is a bit of a shame. Okay. Uh, what we can do instead then is just have a couple of basic connections like that and this there we are we'll have a little uh, a little office district down here it won't be a particularly uh, nice office district I'll be honest just because of all of the the noise it's gonna be there but it'll do for now we'll actually pop in a couple of commercial as well just so again the office workers have somewhere to go and uh, get their noms uh, anything else around there that will Actually, we could just expand this area out because it does look like we do want a couple more offices. We certainly want more commercial. And, in fact, we've actually built all of that up. I'm, I'm deeply surprised by that, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, in that case, we'll uh, fill out a little bit more down there. But, yeah, we need a, a couple more commercial properties. I'm going to give it a bit of space and draw you out down here. We can have something nice in the middle there, though shouldn't be too hard to accommodate and um sure we will actually connect up to this road not specifically because i think we need to connect to this one but just because i think it might be uh might be nice to have the connection there for our garbage trucks to get into the commercial district which i assume it's going to need to do especially if we have uh like restaurants and the likes there we are. Now, what could we pop down here in terms of parks? In fact, I think I'd like a plaza. Let's pop a plaza right about... Sure, pop a plaza right there. That would be quite a nice one. And I'm going to want some low-density commercial there. We'll leave a bit of a gap there as well around the back. Low-density here, low-density there. Now we can have a little path down here, actually. Uh, it won't go anywhere, strictly speaking. It'll just go to the back of this area. Maybe we'll have a, a little bit of a... Just a dirt path, just ranging off a little bit. In here, there. That's lovely. we we'll pop down a couple of trees, a nice bush or two. Gorgeous. Uh, let's go with, you know, the tree bush. But it seems to be everywhere. We'll just a couple of these. Dot it around. Get right in there. Drop a couple more bushes. That's actually a really tiny little bush. It needs more friends. More friends around that bush. It'll be lonely otherwise. There we go. Oh, she had some like park benches I can drop down. Glorious. And we will then some prettier trees. Some flowering trees just dotted around. And yeah, that's actually quite pretty. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Then we can go back and uh, fill out the sides a little bit more then with the with the larger bushes once again. Like that. Get a large tree. This little area looks looks gorgeous in my opinion. 
uh, imagine quite a lot of the uh, the workers going out there just just chilling out on the park benches that we can't actually show. The ones for whom this this is a little bit too too busy. They just want somewhere a little bit more secluded, with a little bit more nature around it. Oops, a daisy. Totally forgotten, you guys. My bad. I was too busy making things beautiful. I am so sorry. So sorry. Uh, there we are. Attic will fix. And I caused the problem after all. It seemed only fair. There we go. Alright, there we are. <laughs> I get so, so absorbed in designing things. We'll probably have some offices building out all the way along here. They won't be the, the nicest offices, certainly, but uh, they they will be a place of work for our citizens. And we're starting to see the RCI creeping back up, and I am extremely happy about that. Now, oh wow, Nesta's po popularity is 95. Can we actually upgrade this? I think we can. I think we will. <gasps> there we are. We're three stars now. We can have 1,000 visitors. Let's have a proper look at this place. There we go. This is starting to look really, really good in here. Um, we could possibly afford to start doing ad campaigns, but honestly, with the popularity we've got at the moment, I don't think we need to. In fact... Um, yeah, still didn't actually do as well as Lily LaRue last time. Hmm. I'll have a look at that one. But this is now costing me 1600 per week to keep going. But if we go and have a look over here, there should be a couple of other buildings. One of them is the Fan Zone Park. People who do not fit in the festival area or prefer to follow the concert further away can watch the band playing from the Fan Zone Park. This park comes to the big video screen and increases the success chance of all concerts by 5%. Can it actually fit in there? Oh, wow. It does. Um, can it fit over here? It does. No, it doesn't quite. But that that this position is like it was built for this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're going with that. There we go. Let's uh, actually have a look at that as well. There we go. Awesome. So that's going to increase the success chance even further of our concerts. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. And now we've actually got a bus lane that uh, will take people to and from. That's even better. I'm noticing quite a lot of people down there. In fact, let's uh, follow one of these buses for a little bit. Womp. Let's go right in and see how many people are waiting at the various stops for you. Oh no, I stopped following because I'm a dip. Here we go. Let's, uh, watch from on high. Okay, loads of people waiting to be picked up from the bus stop. Not so many wanted to be, uh, sorry for the train stop. Not so many wanted to be delivered there. But that's fine. And in we go. We'll see which one you go down to. Actually, we're going to swap lanes. We're going to follow you instead. No, 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 no. Wrong one. There we are. I want to watch the one that's going to pick up all of the peoples. There we are. And bajillions of people want to get on, but there's, there's not enough. Damn it. Not enough room. Too many people have already gone on. Hmm. Maybe I should start putting taxis in the city centre. I think that might not be a bad idea. That may not be a bad idea at all. There we go. We've uh, refilled. That's good. Boarding on route. Yeah, actually, there's quite quite a lot of use coming from these these lines. I'm actually fairly happy with that. Let's have a look at the line details. I was saving 54% of car trips with this one. There's only four vehicles on that line. Let's increase that a little bit to six yeah and let's find the other line as well uh the other line doesn't actually look like it needs as much help but i think we're going to be uh wrapping up today's episode with a final shot of a concert in play the place is uh, actually got quite a lot of people in here over 400 we've also got a decent amount of people in the uh fan zone right behind the the main area perhaps they just didn't want to purchase the tickets or they felt that this was a little bit too crowded though uh, honestly as far as concerts go this looks uh, a little bit tame but uh, that is gonna be it from me so i do hope you enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next but until then and as always from myself and everyone living in avakin do take care.